Hey, good morning. Welcome back. Today we are doing part two of content is not king, content writing is king. So if you remember, we did this, I believe, like a week ago. Um, essentially, what we did was we um, went through some of the topics related to content writing. If you did miss that video, please go check it out. That's the part one. But uh, just a quick wrap, quick recap is that effective content king is really king okay if you can't do that you're going to have a hard time ranking online so some of the points regarding that are to focus on targeted audience okay do keyword research very important and then do competitive ana analysis too your content needs to be informative and concise and written at what level do we remember it was number eight. Grade eight is the appropriate level that you should be writing at, okay? One strategy is to write content in two passes, which means that the first time you're really writing for the audience, okay? The second time you're going to be optimizing it, making it more readable, right? Now, if your content writing sucks like Cash's content, you really need to outsource it, baby. Okay, so that's not a bad idea. What it does is it's gonna give you a starting point and then you can certainly you know, improve upon that, okay? So today we're gonna be very uh, heavy uh, on the demo. We actually have content from uh, one of my students at a local college that we uh, brought up earlier, but uh, let me just uh, go through the plan for today. So. We have a sample content from uh, Brianna. Thank you so much for sharing this with us. We are going to review it first, uh, the original version, right? Then we are going to basically uh, run it through Grammarly uh, first. Then we are also going to come up with a catchy title. And then we are going to make some enhancements to make the content effective and improve readability. And then finally, we are going to check the SEO score which is extremely important because ultimately, right, content is king, and but you're trying to rank, right? If you cannot be found, then it's uh, this the, this whole exercise is a complete waste of time. And then so finally for that part, we're going to look at Moz on page creator. Okay, so let's get going. I'm excited for today's um, demo. So the title, uh, let me just show you actually. Uh, let me switch here. <clears throat> this is this is essentially what Brianna wrote. It's a really nice article. It's about five natural treatments of anxiety, something that we're also all dealing with this 2020 COVID year. So we will look at some of the um, items in there, but uh, let me just let me just kind of go over what, what I found from the con content, okay? So her title is five natural treatments of anxiety. I like that. One of the main keywords is reduce anxiety. That's what we're trying to rank for, okay? Um, now, here's my feedback. The, the content is great. She really has a great opening, and we'll look at that in a minute. But some of the issues are uh, the paragraphs are too long, okay? So the recommendation is you should not have more than two to four sentences per paragraph, okay? Also, her sentences are way too long. Your max should be really no more than 20 words per sentence. She is not utilizing uh, synonyms, so anxiety, reducing anxiety would be the same as lessen stress or how do I minimize um, anxiousness or um, mental stress, something along those lines, okay? And then she's not using an image, so we will also add that to the content. And then her anchor, tag, her anchor tags are not the best, um, which is remember is an SEO factor, okay? So I'm going to review the content. Then next I want to run it through um, the Ask Me Word Counter tool. It's a very simple tool, but I like it because it gives you a couple of pointers. And then of course, Grammarly, which is effing awesome. Okay, so let me switch to the content. So like I said, I mean, I'm just gonna read the beginning. It says, now, unless you won the lottery, a lifetime of toilet paper, or somehow ran into a psychic that told you everything about what would go down in 2020, then you are likely dealing, have dealt with anxiety at some point in the year. Right, great opening, okay? And she then goes into some more items, right? Then she goes down into basically five treatments. So I really like this. This is a very good online writing tip is to break down your paragraphs into bullet points or even if you're doing something sequentially, just you know, go one, two, three, four, five. So she does that, okay, move that body, use essential oils, get a hobby. 
and then finally she she you know has the conclusion wrap up uh, she could have used um, some action items here um, just convince the person to contact you or something like that one challenge that i have like i mentioned is this paragraph is way 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 too long okay so we have to reduce that uh, another issue you'll notice here is that uh, you know, she linked to this article, which is uh, healthline.com. I mean, I'll show you this in a minute. Uh, yeah, in fact, it's right there. So she she used this article on exercise, depression, and brain. I mean, that's that's great, but it doesn't help to link from the word studies, okay? So we will improve upon that. And the other thing I was going to show you here is I, if I do control F and search for, let's say, anxiety, <clears throat> you know, she's only using that six times i mean the this article has almost 500 words right so six times is like one percent that's way too low uh we're gonna we're going to be enhancing that and then if i look at the word stress i mean again she's just using it one time okay so again great article um but certainly you know we can improve upon this so what i'm going to do in fact is i'm going to copy this literally okay uh everything control a selected go to uh, let me just minimize some of the stuff that's open here and let me go to this one first okay so this is uh something that uh, he asked me.com put together okay so i come down here and by the way i'm going to be sharing all these links in the video uh, if you go to the description of the video i will be putting all these um, links and tools that are in there so you should be able to check them out at your convenience so here you go right this tool is telling us this is this many characters, right? 532 words, which is okay. She she has 32 sentences and uh, these many paragraphs, right? So, and then the reading time. And of course, this is, this is another part that's important. It tells you, you know, some of the top keywords, right? So like I mentioned, she could definitely use the word um, reduce stress, okay? Lessen um, anxiety things of that nature. The other thing I'm going to do also is um, go to Grammarly, and I'm not uh, paying for this service, but uh, it says, you know, just add your content in there. So I'm going to do this again, okay? Now, what it's going to do is, um, it's going to take a few minutes, uh, you know, and it's gonna come up with essentially a score. So Brianna did actually a great job on this thing. Um, look at the score, it's already 95, which is super duper high. So she is a good writer, but you can see that, you know, it already is suggesting some things in here. So this should be unleashing. Um, they, they also found some other uh, problems. Let's see, <clears throat> you know, so let's try this. Actually, I'll, I'll just show you how to change this. So you just select that um, and then reducing anxiety reducing so things like that right again you can see um lifts like here's another one right you could just it's simple you just delete that word lifts you right so the important point about um content is it should be concise and just written in an active manner and obviously you know fixing uh fixing a mistake so this is i'm not going to go through this whole thing but this is a tool that we already uh, took took her content, we optimized it. So then I just wanted to kind of show you how, how we get there, okay? So now, okay, what are we gonna do? We, are, we have to come up with a title. So the title needs to be super catchy and just capture the reader's imagination. It is extremely important for SEO. Why, anyone? Because remember, if I go to Google, so let me let me do this real quick here. I'm going to open up a new tab, just kind of show you this. If I search for the word reduce stress, let's say, or reduce anxiety, right? These top articles that are popping up, remember that, um, you know, th this part right here is going to be the title tag, right? And so it's extremely important that you come up with something that's catchy, okay? Um, and so what did we do here? Um, one easy way to do this is to go to Advanced uh, Marketing Institute. So let me show you this. In fact, I may already have this. So I'm going to take her. Um, I'm going to take her title first. Okay. If you can watch this, um, I go to sorry <clears throat> this one. So this is A M I 
or sorry, AM Institute, and then I go into the where it says Headline Analyzer, right? I'm going to simply put this one in here. You see that? And then when I click Submit for Analysis, it's giving it's going to give us a score, right? So her um, EMV score is 40, which is not bad. So I, let me go back and put this in here. So this one is 40, right? Well, that's great, but we actually rewrote this one, okay? Um, I'm going to be copying this one instead. And if I, uh, if I go back and then click on this again, right? Oops, uh, let me just remove this one. I've got too many things going on here. So I, we just changed it slightly. Five natural remedies to help you reduce stress and anxiety, okay? Let's try that instead. When you do that, um, there you go. I mean, that's, you know, 60 is a great number. I think, you know, anything, uh, I believe, over 60 or 55 is considered good. I mean, the higher, the higher, the better, okay? So this is a lot more uh, catchy. We're going to run with it. The other thing I'm going to do with this content is going to be is that we're going to split paragraphs into shorter ones. We are going to add synonyms. Um, are anxiety and stress different? Are they? I do not think so. So definitely use that, right? We're going to add an image. And then for images, remember that you have to improve the SEO uh, name of the image. And then you also want to use the alt, uh, which is the alternative text, okay? And then we're going to look at other enhancements. So what I've already done for this is I have uh, this Word document called SEO class after readable improvement, which sounds kind of questionable, but uh, let's kind of go through this. Uh, so, and like I said, uh, we will put this in the um, in the link for the video in the description. So go check it out or contact us. I'll give you my contact information at the end. We would uh, love to share this with you. So what did I do here? Okay, watch this. So I basically, you know, first of all, I split the first paragraph into two. I did that. I removed some extra sentences in here, right? Um, you can see I added the word stressful here, okay? Uh, she had anxiety and the health of improvement. So now what, I, what did I do? I said reducing anxiety, because remember, that's one of our keywords. And I replaced anxiety with anxiousness, right? Again, uh, you can clearly see the ones in the yellow are the ones that I added. The, <clears throat> the word anxiety in red are the original, so you can kind of see what, what she was using, right? And so then, um, same thing here. I mean, anxiety, she said for treatments for anxiety, but then I said, minimize worry. Why did I say minimize worry? That's another way of saying reduce stress, okay? So remember, and the reason you do that is to not only appeal to the search engines, but the people that are searching, okay? Some people are going to type in reduce stress. Uh, some people are gonna type in minimize worry. Some people are gonna type uh, lessen anxiety, okay? So you have to remember that people search in a different way and you have to basically write that way. Now the expression, how does it go? Uh, worth this picture, how many words? I don't, I don't hear you, a thousand words, right? So that's exactly what we did. So I just, this is a um, royalty free image, but you ideally wanna have your own images. And two things that are important to this is that you wanna name the image in line with what your topic is. And you definitely wanna use uh, the alternative alternative text. So here you can see that I'm using how to reduce anxiety, plano counseling. I don't have a counseling company, by the way, so don't call me for that. But um, but this is what we're doing. And then um, another one here, I want to mention that in the original content, if I see this, if I go back, you'll notice that she was linking from the word studies, right? Well, that's not helpful from a search engine point of view. Instead, I changed that to reduce stress. Okay, so if I hover over that, you can see it's going to the same link. And same thing, you know, I'm adding uh, I'm adding anxiety and then I've even added more sentences. It says research shows that a pa pastime can help alleviate anxiety and stress, okay? And then um, I believe that's it. So I just changed, changed the content a little bit. I'm going to do one thing. I'm going to remove this part because I do want to run this through a tool actually. So let me just give me one minute here. I'm going to remove the image part. In fact, sorry, I do apologize. This is not the one I want to use. I'm going to use this one because this is the one I cleaned up actually. 
So there's too, too many things going on here. So this is the one I'm going to use, right? I'm literally going to actually just do this. Let's do this. So I'm going to copy all of this, right? This is the one that's been optimized and cleaned up, so to speak. I'm going to bring it to my favorite editor, Notepad. I'm going to copy this one, okay? And then I'm going to take it to where are we going to go? I want to go to this one. So this is uh, put together by Web FX readability tool, right? So I'm going to scroll down here. They give you a couple of options. You can test by URL, actually. You can test text by direct input. So we're going to try that, right? Uh, and uh, we're going to paste this here. I'm going to just make sure that uh, I think there's the word on the picture. I want to remove that. In fact, I want to remove this one to where it says make it H3 heading. We'll talk about that towards the end. And I'm also going to, I'm actually going to go ahead and remove these ones too. This is just has to do with the images. Okay. So I cleaned up a little bit. Oh, I did not clean up a little bit. So, so I, I cleaned up this, right? Let me make sure the, the heading is in there. Uh, let's see. This one, five natural ways to reduce anxiety. So here you go. So I think now our, our, our text looks really good, right? I'm going to say calculate readability. I'm just checking the time because this, uh, this video is going to end up being a little longer, but that's okay. Um, all right. So what happened here? It didn't. Oh, it did. Okay, so here you go. So it says test results. Your your text has an average grade level of nine, which is fine. Okay, it could be. You could probably make it a little bit more simpler. But here's the thing. Um, these are the uh, parameters that it's giving you. There's a thing called Flash um, Kincaid, I believe, uh, reading score. Right. So this is telling you that it's for mine. If you look at the second one, it says eight point one. So that's good. Most mostly you want these things to be in the green. Okay. And uh, certainly, like I said, you can uh, you can Google this. So if I go to, um, I don't know what that is, but uh, let's see, Flash Kincaid. You know, here you go. So this is, essentially it tells you it tells you what that is uh, what that is all about. Okay. So I hope that's that's useful. Um, now we still have a couple more things. So let me just do this. Let's just bring it all together, right? Okay, so what did we do? We had the content, we uh, we ran it through Grammarly, right? So that helps you clean it up a little bit. Next thing we did was we came up with the uh, better title using Advanced Marketing Institute. Okay, so that was useful because again, it's a, you need to have a catchy title. We ran it through the, um, the word counter uh, tool, okay? And like I showed you, actually, <laughs> I jumped ahead. Sorry about that. So I already ran it through the readability test tool from webfx.com. Thank you so much uh, for that. And then finally, this is this is probably the last important part of this um, video is that finally I'm going to run, you know, my content through the uh, Moz on page grader. Okay, so the link for that is right there. What I actually ended up doing for that is that I took the, I took Brianna's content and I put it here. Um, this, this is actually, <coughs> excuse me, our company website, but I just wanted to run it through the tool. So I kind of put this together uh, today quickly, but I'm going to copy this. This is this is the article that we just optimized, okay? Uh, five natural remedies. I just want to make sure it looks good. Um, and I want to also make sure that, yeah, the anchor, anchor text is there, right? And I'm going to go to Moz. So now this one, I will say that we are... Uh, Unfortunately, for this particular part, I'm running the pro uh, pro version, so this is not a free version, but there are other tools that will let you do that. I'm going to put my URL here, right? You see that? <coughs> Excuse me, falling apart here. Reduce, um, what was our, uh, what was our, I think reduce anxiety was our, our original. Right, so here you go. So this is again Moz on page grader, which means it's going to give you SEO ranking, right? You put in your URL, put in the keyword, and then you hit analyze, right? And that's going to 
it's going to give you a score. So, I mean, this is this is actually pretty pretty high score. Uh, 83 I'm getting on the right here. If you click on the little eye, it tells you this is a score of between 0 to 100. Obviously, there's things we can do, but I mean, the, uh, the objective of this video is not to give you perfect content. It's to really help you get there. And what I like about this tool is it's going to tell you exactly some of the things you can do. So I believe those are, I just want to make sure I'm not... Uh, missing anything I, I covered a lot of these things i just want to make sure oh the last thing really is that um, when you are editing your content so this is the back end of our website if you scroll all the way down right i'm using all in one seo you really want to work on the title tag and description tags here you here they are these are seo title items i have a couple of other videos on them so please check them out but here look at this so what am I doing? I'm starting with our keyword phrase, which is reduce anxiety, right? You definitely want to, you don't want to talk about cash, how wonderful cash is and cash is king. No, you want to talk about what people are searching, right? And then you can tell that it's giving me a little bit of red flag there. So what you can do is you can reduce this one. Let's just, uh, <clears throat> you know, I reduced it a little bit. I think it's still, it's still uh, let's just try this one. Nice room to help you reduce stress. I think 61 is fine. And then same thing here. This is meta description. Again, notice that I'm starting with reduce anxiety. Why? Because that's our keyword, right? And so this one seems to be a little bit longer too. The recommendation is to use 160, but I, I don't know. I think two, up to 200 is okay from what I can tell from working at clients. And then finally, uh, I have keywords in here too. Meta keywords, a lot of people don't use that, but it's up to you if you want to use it or not. But I believe that's all I really had today. Um, a little bit longer video. Thank you for watching this. And please subscribe to our channel. Have a good one. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found this useful. Please go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you could like that video, that would be great. Uh, for additional information, you are welcome to connect with us through all of these avenues. We have our website, so that's datatechnologyllc.com. Um, I can uh, show you this right here. So this is, uh, this is our company. We're based in Dallas, Texas. Uh, you are also welcome to visit our social media pages. So we're on facebook.com slash Dallas SEO by cash. Um, and also on Twitter, which is the same one. So let me uh, show you that uh, here. We try to definitely post um, on a regular basis and uh, there's lots of uh, ideas and whatnot re related to digital marketing. Um, and same thing here on uh, Twitter. So it's uh, twitter.com slash Dallas SEO by cash. Um, definitely engage with us, get, you know, jump into the conversation and uh, that would be great. And finally, uh, there's two more things. Um, we, we are on LinkedIn, so this is our URL for that. And um, definitely on YouTube, so it's uh, youtube.com slash buggle. And so let me just show you that uh, so LinkedIn is right here, by the way. Um, and then uh, YouTube, we have, uh, we have more than um, 200 videos, so definitely uh, I would think you would find the um, channel quite useful. Um, other than that, uh, once again, um, I appreciate uh, watching the video and you have a good day.